Number 81. What is the minimum mass of CaCO3 required to establish equilibrium at a certain temperature in a 6.50 liter container if the equilibrium constant Kc is 0.50 for the decomposition reaction of CaCO3 at that temperature? And then they give us this equation. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to write that out a little bit bigger. CaCO3, and that's a solid, this comes to equilibrium with CaO, that's also a solid, plus CO2, and that's a gas. Okie dokie. So, first thing is, I like to look back at the question just to see, you know, what they gave me in terms of, you know, equilibrium information. Now, they're asking for the minimum mass of CaCO3. So, here's CaCO3. They're asking for a mass value and remember, mass is in grams. So at the end of the day, we need to find out the grams of CaCO3. And maybe I'll just put that over here. CaCO3, actually I'll say grams of CaCO3. That's the end game. Okay. Now they give me a volume. They said it's 6.50 liters. And they give me a Kc. But with equilibriums, especially if we're going to plug in for Kc, and maybe I'll just show you the equation here, right? We know this equation. It's the general Kc equation. Here it is. We know that we have to have concentration, aka molarity values, right? So these brackets mean molarity, but they didn't really give me anything, right? They gave me a liter, but they didn't give me a molarity. They didn't give me any starting information, but they did say that this reaction is a decomposition reaction of CaCO3. If you're decomposing something, and in this case we're decomposing CaCO3, that means that you started with all of CaCO3 and it broke down. So that means that in this decomposition reaction you only started with CaCO3. And a starting amount is an initial amount. And anytime that you see that you're talking about starting amounts or initial amounts with equilibrium, you jump right to an ice table. So I'm going to write I, C, E. Now, this could also be called a rice table. The R stands for reaction, uh, but less, less letters the better. Who cares about the R? All right, so the I in this little chart that's going to help us is the initial amounts. And just pay attention to the states, right? Because you don't want to write, you know, all this stuff in there if you don't have to. This is a solid. This is a solid. And then this is the gas, right? In order to use the KC equation, only aqueous and gases are allowed. So CaCO3 is a solid. CaO is a solid. Do I care about these when it comes to this equation? No. So... Bye-bye. I'm not going to fill in any information over here, and I'm not going to fill in any information over here. The only thing that I need to fill in are these three lines. Now, initially, I, did we start off with any CO2? No. This is a decomposition reaction. That means you only started with CaCO3. So we know, initially, we started with no CO2. This is a zero. Now let's work on the C. C stands for change. So if we started with nothing, this would have to increase, meaning that the change would have to be some positive value. But do we know what the positive value is? No. So I'm just going to label this as X. And just be careful, guys. Always go by what the coefficient is. Now since this is a balanced equation and there's only one of these, this is technically plus 1x, but plus 1x is the same thing as saying x. So maybe I will just say plus x and keep it the colors of red being the products. Now, E stands for equilibrium. And equilibrium is just the, the coming together of your initial concentration and your change. So 0 plus x would just be x. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to use that KC equation. 
to solve for what this is. So KC equals, let's do the uh, formula, right? Products over reactants, but we don't care about the solid. We only care about this one. So this would be the concentration of CO2. And you could raise it to the first because there was a one coefficient in there, but you don't have to. And then when you go to the reactants, you don't care about this because this is a solid. So you just need a placeholder number, and the placeholder number is always a 1. But now we can simplify this, right? CO2 divided by 1, I could just say that this is the same as just the concentration of CO2. And look at that, guys. We now know that at equilibrium, Kc equals the concentration of CO2. So the Kc value they told us was 0 0.50, and that has to equal the concentration of CO2. Okay. So we know that the CO2 has to equal 0 0.50 molarity. If I just can rewrite this in a different way, it would be this, right? All right. So now we found out by knowing that we have 0.5 molarity for CO2, but they're still asking for the minimum mass of CaCO3. So if I now know information about CO2 and they're asking for information here, this is going way back, guys, right? If we have the molarity for this and they want to know grams of this, I have one information from a balanced equation, and I'm trying to go to another compound in the same equation, that's stoichiometry. That's like, what, chapter four? That's chem one. So we're doing that. But remember, let's, let's see if we can remember. If we're going from one compound to another, remember, we have to be in the unit of moles, not molarity. So the first thing is, is I have to convert this molarity into moles. Now remember, the formula, molarity equals moles, divided by liters. All these chapters are coming together. It's crazy. <laughs> so can't forget these formulas. So we have the molarity. They told us we had 6.5 liters, so we can solve for the moles. If I just rearrange this formula, sorry guys, my voice is a little off. I am under the weather, but we have to get these videos out for you guys. <laughs> Sick. Let's just keep doing videos. Oh yeah. All right, so moles equals molarity times liter. Let's figure it out. Mole equals the molarity, 0 0.50 times, maybe I'll just put a parenthesis here, 6.50, and let's see what the moles of the CO2 is. Okay, so 0 0.5 times 6.5, we get 3.25 moles of CO2. Now, I have the right unit in which I can use stoichiometry to go from CO2 to CaCO3. So I'm going to do that over here. So 3.25 moles of CO2, and maybe I'll color code this. I'll put this in red. Use your ratios. Times by a ratio. Throw the unit you don't want on the bottom. So in this case, it will be moles of the CO2. And then on the top, we want to know CaCO3. So mole of CaCO3 goes up on the top. If you're going from a mole-to-mole -mole conversion of different compounds, remember, that's the balanced equation, BE. Just use your coefficients. There was one CaCO3 for every one CO2. So one CaCO3 for every one CO2. So that number would be the same. And now we just want to know the mass. They tried to make it hard by saying, what's the minimum mass? But minimum mass is basically saying, what's the least amount of mass that is required? You could, over, you could always overshoot the mass, but we just need to know the lowest amount. And that's what is going to give us with dimensional analysis. So maybe if I swing this over a little bit this way, I have a little bit more room. We just need one more because we don't want moles. We want mass, which is grams. So mole of CaCO3 on the bottom. 
What is that? Beautiful. And then grams of CaCO3 up on top. Moles to grams of the same compound. Remember, that's the periodic table. One mole equals whatever the mass is of CaCO3 on the periodic table. So periodic table's out. Let's see, 40.08 for the calcium plus 12.01 for the ox carbon plus 3 times 16. I get 100.09. Cancel out moles of the calcium carbonate. And now we have our answer. So 3.25 times that answer. And let's see. I do have two sig figs in the KC, so probably two sig figs. Uh, but who cares? But I'm just going to give it in two sig figs. <laughs> so this would be 3.2. Actually, 3.3, because the 5 rounds the 2 up. 3.3 times 10 to the 1, 2. And this would be grams of CaCO3. So 330 grams, roughly, uh, would be the minimum mass that's required to bring this to equilibrium. And there we go. I hope this helps, guys. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.